Do you love cakes? Do you love events? Do you love excitement? Do you love glitz and glam? Then this is the show for you. Welcome to Bake That Cake with Ripples. My name is Tyrell Alkanen. Sit back and let's get right into it. So we had this lovely couple, Frank and Jennifer, walk into Dripples to place an order for their wedding cake. We are usually so excited seeing couple coming in together to make decisions and make an input for what they really want. Yesterday made it a week that we just got married. So we met uh, when I came to Port Harcourt and I think it was Valentine's Day. I was actually not feeling well. My in-law was like, you have to go out or you know, just come out and just look around. And then went out and then that's how I met my husband, Frank. Yeah, they had the picture of what they wanted, concept of what they wanted, but they wanted us to have some changes or add twists to it. So uh, we're here to place an order for the cake. Oh, congratulations in advance. Thank you. All right. Yes, uh, so I don't have a thing for okay. my wedding per se. It's actually Easter Monday. On a Monday? Yeah, it's a public holiday. So oh, okay. That's the reason why I chose that day. Oh, that's a special day, really, for wedding. <laughs> I really peach, okay. Okay, you know what? I'll show you the picture. Okay. And then let, let's see what finishing touches you can. Okay, all right. Let's see, let's see. That's your idea. Oh, nice. This is fine. This is all white, and we have wafer paper going around it. I think we should do an ivory cake and a bit of peach. It's very light marble with peach, and then we have a uh, wafer paper. Okay. So we're not going to do this exact. Let's let's just get ideas from this. Okay. So we'll okay. do something. Let's call it your cake. So this is one, two, three, four. So we're having a four-tier cake. So what flavors are we going for? What's your favorite? Let me ask your husband to be first. <laughs> no. I'm, not, I'm not really a cake. I'm You're not, not a cake person. Oh, okay. Since we're having a four-tier wedding cake. We could do fruit cakes and maybe two layers fruit cakes and then the other two as mixed flavors. Is that fine? Okay, so that's fine. Yeah. I'll have this lovely sketch like this. So we'll do like a six inches. We'll do three inches away, six, nine, 12, and 15. That will be nice. We'll have a wafer paper design coming this way. And then we'll have some of our flowers, maybe like breads flowers, you know around it. Maybe this could have a, um, a mix of the, the olive green popping out, so it's not just all white. So we'll have a bit of our marble, okay? So yeah, we've kind of incorporated all your colors now. Yeah, I think I'm loving this. I don't know if you like it. It's a fort here. So we're going to be having six, nine, twelve. So our peach is here. It's an ivory cake all through um, with a mixture of marble just to tint it a bit, so the marble is out then, so the nice. Mm -hmm. I want to also add, do you also do these uh, portion, portion cakes? The, the cut-up cakes, yeah. that's cut, yeah, we do. I just need to know how many guests you're expecting and then we'll know how many cut-up to make as well. Oh, okay. So is this good to go? Yeah, yes. that, that's fine. <laughs> thank you, thank you, so, thank you so much. Congratulations in advance and wishing you all the best for your event. Okay, so we're working on a four-tier wedding cake. Very simple, but elegant one. Um, starting with six, nine, 12, and 15. Yeah, it's going to be um, done in different flavors from chocolate, red velvet, vanilla, and some fruit cake. So we're having a mixture of both flavors around the four tiers. It's all white cake with a touch of peach marble effects going around the cake. And we're gonna have this cascade of we have a paper around it with some baby bread flowers. So guys, sit back and let's get baking. So at this point, we already had our six inches, our 12 inches and 15 inches all stacked, shaved and well decorated. Yeah, and then we headed over to decorating our nine inches cake. So guys, we're heading over to our nine inches here, which we're going to be adding some buttercream now and then like the crumb coating and then later on we'll panel, then I'll mix in my fondant and add a little bit of our peach color as well because we're having it all marble from top to bottom. Yeah, so let's keep rolling. We'll have to shave this when we're done. Eh? I'll need the fondant shooter on, please. Okay. 
This cake is too close to that cake. Oh. How many inches? What's the base of this other cake? 12. Why is it looking like that? 9 on 12. Doesn't look like 12. This is okay, right? Hmm? Then this for the top. Mm. Then this. Mm. The 7 inches is normal. Six. Okay, so just roll a bit and then straight to our fondant sheet here. I'm gonna have this. Then we have the rolling pin and the tape, please. 28, 27, okay. All right, so this is okay now. Don't make it too thick. Just roll that one. All right, so we just roll this and then do the first panel. Cutting this off gradually. Please, can we be quick on that cake? Don't, don't steam that in too much, okay? Yeah? Cut off some of the excess here. Yeah, so we'll do this. Can I have the top now, quickly? Just help secure this area. And then here, yeah, here we go with the top. So cut this part off. Go ahead and mix the fondant, the marble. Where's our peach? Come, come and mix your marble here. You're mixing it here. We we'll just go ahead. You still want to do it? Let's do it around there. That way. No, it's okay. We can do. Hmm? Let's panel. Let's panel. Go ahead. So yeah, I'll just take off the excess like so. No, no don't roll yet. Just hold on. I need to finish up with this part first. But I roll the top for me. Very slim top. Just get me small parts for the top. I like to fix the top first, okay? So yeah, take out some of the excess. Come, you're going to let those things dry out. Nice. Can you make them straight? Because they're not straight on those boards. So in case they dry out, it will still go. Otherwise, when it bends, it will break. Okay, so yeah. This part is done. I will go back and add some more buttercream. So we'll finalize it with the marble. Please, it shouldn't be too strong, okay? Where's the water? Where's the spray bottle? Where's the spray bottle? Okay, just a bit of this. Okay, so I'm actually using water to thin the buttercream a bit. So it's easy to spread on this particular fondant. And then while we go ahead to have our marble, I want it light. So that's the top, right? Just roll, 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 okay. Now, this is another method. If you ganache your cake, you don't need to do this. This is the paneling method. We work with all the methods, you know. We had to roll out our marble, and then we started with the circumference, the top, which we covered, and then we turned, flipped over to cut off more excess. Can I have another board? I like to flip, I like to flip. So you can go ahead and roll that, I'm done. This won't take time. Make sure you have enough space. And you need um, about 27 inches long, okay? Okay, so I just go around and cut off the excess here so that the panel will lap neatly. Is that cake set now? Okay. And then flipped back again and went ahead to roll the panels that will go around the side of the cake which we had to measure to make it really accurate and not too much of the excess. This is thick. This is a lot. Let me see the back. This is so strong. Stronger than this one. Can I see the back of this? Add some more white, please. Can we add some more white? Hmm? That's the stronger than the rest. Quickly. So, 
Ready? This is drying out on me, so be quick. But let's not have the same kind of... Anyways, we'll know how to fix it. Hmm? Big and small. But I'm not seeing any small one here. Okay, I need some really short, so that we can put them in between, okay? So it's not too strong, okay? Let me see the other side. What's wrong with the other side? Oh, there's no marble. Okay, go ahead. Why is that place like that now? Let's cut up a little bit here. And then trim the base. I think I like this down part. Okay. Like so. See? Be on the safe side. Okay, that's fine. We can cut this part off. So roll again. Neatly. Making sure this bottom is set for me. Yeah, and then we wrapped it and had some excess, which I had to cut again. Okay, you need to cut out the excess. And then with the help of the smoother, we had to go round to smooth to make sure the edges were all clean, taking out all bubbles and making the edges as crisp and sharp as possible. That will make it really neat at the end of the day. Get the doors ready, are they all set? So what I'm doing now is just cutting around the excess behind, then which I will iron out soon again. Then we'll go ahead and massage. Now, our couple wants something really, really simple. By the time we attach the details on the cake, like the wafer paper, let me have that tiny stuff to take out these bubbles, okay? So I'll take it back to my turntable and cut out the excess. All right, so let me have the scissors. I'll cut this part neatly. So just neatly match them together or you just cut. Now, we really do not need stress here. You can decide to just cut the top, but yeah, let's do this. So just trying to match the, trying to seal the top and the side together neatly so we don't have that, um, that mark at the top. I don't want it rolling on me. Okay, so. So I'm in full control of this cake. So basically what I'm doing is trying to have a seamless top and at the same time keeping our edges sharp. Sometimes we just do the, the full covering and turn it over and then do the sharp edge thing. But yeah, this is another method. We go back there to make sure we don't have too much of the excess so it does not um, affects this area. Yeah, I'm already loving these edges. So we do the same thing round until all the edges are really clean. Now that our nine inches is set, um, covered in fondant, and it's looking good already for me. Yeah, the other cakes are already covered, the six, nine, 12, and 15 and then we'll hurry over to see how we can meet up with our wafer paper flour to be sure we have enough and more than enough. Here is preparing our ruffles for our cake. We decided to work with wafer paper flowers. Um, we had to cut them in nine different shapes. We didn't want something so straight and so, you know, equal. So we had to come with different sizes, some high, some very small, making the edges really sharp. And then went ahead to steam this paper to give us this ruffle effect. Yeah, this is nice. Did you make small ones? But I can see all of them are the same. They're facing the same. Come. Mm, but see, all of them, everything is just alike. Okay. So somehow, sometimes just, see, we can have this too. So we're not following. I want this angle. Like, like something like this. Because I notice everything is same. Look at every, all the down like this. So when you do this, let it stay. Take it out. You see the way this one is now? Hmm? This one has sharp and hair. I think I like this. Hmm? So make some like this so everything is not looking too uniform. Okay? So go ahead, make more. Please, I need more. And let's make sure they dry properly before you let go. And yeah, instead of now working with um, the baby bread flour as planned, um, we decided to come up with something different. What we did was cut out wafer paper in tiny leaves you know, we had a lot of them, okay, and then we attached them 
with by inserting um, our wires in between and then we wet and attaching again the other ones together to secure them for, for easy installation. Now our cakes are all set. Ruffles looking really gorgeous and our fantasy flower looking as pretty as we imagined. And here yeah, our 12 inches has to be stacked on our 15 inches and ready to go to the hall. This will help to secure the weight of each cakes together. Let me see, put up there. Um, the vein is not too far from here. We can decide to start the four cakes, but mm -mm. let's just do two and then we'll do the rest over there. And then fix in all our details for the cake. Do you want this part as the front? Let's work with this as the front. Yeah? Get the front here as well. So as usual, same way, I always like to put it around here. This helps to stick both cakes together. We don't want anything moving. So we're taking this as our front, okay? Oops, together. Do I have my molds? So yeah, we have to seal up this part. I don't like opening them, so it looks neat. Checking both sides to be sure everything is accurate. Is this for this? Perfect. So we'll have four of these pipes going in here. This is enough to carry the weight. We have two more extra cakes. I want it straight. I hope my inner rod is ready. I hope it's ready. But can I have my rope molds? So the rope molds to cover up this area. We we'll do the same round the cake and we're good to go. excitement in getting to the venue it will seem like we're a little bit too early the setup is still ongoing the decorators are still working it's the monday wedding do a public holiday and short time for them to decorate we had ladders everywhere wires the eye was so busy everywhere the stage wasn't fully set which was still on that but man and the hall was really really hot no we couldn't put in our cakes in there so we had to wait for the hall to settle down a bit before bringing our cake for installation. After waiting for some time, the hall was looking better, the air condition was on, and we thought it was time to bring in our cakes and get to work. We brought in our two stacked cakes, 12 inches resting on, on the 15 inches base cake, straight to the table, and went ahead to pipe our real icing round the doors to secure our nine inches cake. And then further on, we, we had to fix in our middle pole for stability and then resting the six inches on the nine inches. Yeah, and we cannot just let this cake go. We had to make sure we beautify the edges, the borders around this cake with our pre-made mold, wet with water and then fixing it together. And yeah, this is where the work begins.
and here we had to work as a team attaching the ruffles and the fantasy leaves you know to the cake to make sure we have this lovely cascade went back and forth severally to be sure we had the perfect angle at this point i had to borrow everyone's eyes to be sure everything was looking really perfect and finally it was gorgeous At this point, the setup of the hall was finally done and wow, it was beautiful. The lights, the aisle, the flower, and in the middle of it all, our cake was was so beautiful. I had a lot of highlights for my wedding. I mean, my husband was first of all looking dashing and of course my humble self. <laughs> so <laughs> but when I saw the decorator, I had to start asking him, are you okay? Have you eaten? Like, I don't understand. This hall is so beautiful. You know, and then I spotted my cake. <laughs> Another highlight for me was when I saw my colleagues from far and wide. There were people that came from Lagos, people that came from Ibadan, people that came from Abuja. I felt really loved and I was so happy. My friends, my family. My boo. My sweetheart. Uh -huh. My gravy. My autumn. No, wait, 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 wait. You say your autumn. What's the meaning of that? Okay, continue, continue. The bride was so happy with the outcome, which made us so excited. Now, this is why we do what we do. Being a part of this, contributing to their joy, means a lot to us. So I had a four layer cake, but it was two different flavors, and I'm like, I must eat these two. When I got home and I started cutting, I realized that the, there was a flavor which I had discussed with Dripples, and it was the vanilla, chocolate, and red velvet, and I was like, hey, this is the one I want to eat first. And I told my husband, okay, you know what, this is your slice, this is my slice, just hold it, I'm coming, let me just sort people out, and I'll be right back. And you know, I came back to eat my cake. And I'm like, ah, where is the cake now? And he said, for someone that told me he does not like cakes, right? My husband actually finished my cake. You know, before it would have been the bride saying one family member should pack the cake and all that. But the Drupal staff actually came to meet me and said, Ma, we would like to pack your cake now. And I felt like, oh wow, I didn't even know they were still around. It's a wrap for today's episode. I'm grateful for my ever consistent Drupal theme. Until next time, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Get fault, can you panic collectively? Can you close the shop?